Hello. Hmm. Today is February 13th. It is a Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, which is something I don't really particularly care about. Um, I just got home from work, so I'm just unpacking my things. Um, oh, it's 10 o'clock, I should say that also. Oh, I'm so tired. So, um, one of my first jobs that I got, uh, just to quickly recap, because it's kind of a, it's kind of a story. Graduated with my master's degree in 2018. I got a job as a mobile therapist, uh, for this one company right after school, which was great. Paid good money, I think 27 an hour. Found the job to be very overwhelming. So I quit. I gave like a week and a half notice, quit, didn't close out my clients, started waitressing at Chiggy's and Pete's, uh, went to bartending school, never became a bartender, pandemic happened. Laid off, had a really hard time getting back into my field, worked at a bunch of different types of jobs, like uh, I kept waitressing at, um, at, a, different, at a different restaurant. Um, I went to interviews that were like scam jobs and not actual jobs, applied to a million places, couldn't find anything that was like up to my degree and legitimate and in my field. And then finally I found a job at a residential rehab. And it was the bachelor's level position as a recovery specialist, um, but that was my first like job back into the social work or human services field. Um, so I started there almost a year ago. So that's nice. Um, it doesn't pay super well. It's like 16 an hour, which is crazy because, you know, it's somewhat a serious job, you know, and making sure that human lives are okay. Um, but that's what they pay. However, I do really like working there. Um, it's it's mo mostly because I have formed I have formed really good relationships with the people who live there, the clients. I mean, um, I love them. They love me. I look forward to seeing them. They look forward to seeing me. I appreciate having them in my life even if it's in like a professional capacity. Um, so although I have a job that's at the master's level position now, um, I still work there. So I, I was part-time, but I just decided to go back full-time because they asked me to, my boss asked me to. So back in the, back before I got the job at, um, as a behavioral consultant, I, um, I, Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Back before I got the job as a behavioral consultant and I worked at the uh, residential rehab full-time, I worked with this kid named Jake. I say kid because he was younger than me. Um, just by a few years, but like, he uh, had just graduated from college and he was in a frat and he was a little, he still lived at home, which is not, I mean, that's fine, but we were just like, I felt a lot more adult than he was. Um, but nice, nice kid. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, so Jake and I both quit our jobs, our full-time jobs there at like the same time. This was last summer. They never, they just replaced me a few months ago, but they never replaced his position. And like they, they would have, pe they would have interviews and like it just wouldn't work out. So. I am wearing rubber boots because it snowed and they're hard to take off. Um, so yeah, so they finally were like, just a, just a few days ago, my boss was like, listen, could you come back full time? We can make it work with your schedule. Because my other job as a behavioral consultant, which pays twice as much and is at the master's level, um, 
that job, which is my like career job, you could say, is kind of uh, unpredictable, I guess, or like, um, it's not the most reliable because I have to schedule appointments with kids, their parents, teachers, and things happen. It's not like a scheduled set nine to five. Um, so I said yes, that I would go back to um, the, the rehab full time, but I'm still gonna work as a behavioral consultant. I just, um, I'm gonna do both. So and I don't know if that was the right decision or not, but the thing is I, well, I'm moving out on my own and I know that with the two incomes, I'll be okay financially and I won't need, I, like I, I'm a little bit worried about money just cause it's been such a hard past couple of years. Um, but with these two jobs, I know I'll be able to do it on my own. So yeah, that's where I was all day. Just for 10 hours, but like, it doesn't really feel like work. Like I said, the, um, the office is in an apartment building. So like I, I meal prepped, I cooked chicken. I don't want to make it seem like I put a bunch of meals together. I cook, I baked chicken, which like for me, that is meal prepping. Um, so I have that for this week. Like there's a full kitchen I'm able to use, which is great. I got a little bit of work done for my other job, like paperwork and stuff. Um, and I think honestly, I think working there full time is going to help me be more organized because um, I will be forced to be sitting in an office setting slash apartment setting. Um, and I just think it's going to help me like be able to do my tasks for my behavioral consulting job in a more timely fashion because I'm so scatterbrained. I have my evaluation for ADHD this week. I feel like it's not going to work out because I didn't schedule it with an ADHD specialist. I'm just going to my regular psychiatrist, which I just feel like maybe I should have just put in the effort of finding a specialist, but we'll see what she says. And maybe that, maybe this psychiatrist can refer me to one. I don't know, but uh, all right, I'm gonna go put on some pajamas and then I have something else I need to talk to you about. Ay, ay, ay. look at my room right now. Man, I didn't even make my bed this morning. Usually I do make my bed every morning, but I missed it this time. It's just, it's tough. I'm so, I just, I'm disheveled. I got a lot of stuff to deal with, a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so, uh, First of all, I will say this. I do not always do my bedtime routine. Actually, I very rarely do. I like, first, do you hear that sound? It's um, my heater. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, that sound you hear is my heater and I know I should turn it off so you can hear me better but I'm just, I love heat, so it's comforting and I'm gonna keep it on. Sorry, I'll try to speak up. Um, anyway, I very rarely wash my face before bed. If I wear makeup on, if I wear makeup, I don't, I like just leave it on. And I, I know that's gross, but I just literally never have this, the energy to take off my makeup, but, uh, I wash my face tonight and brush my teeth and I'm ready for bed, so that's good. Um, yeah, I have, I have a hard time sticking to like morning routines, bedtime routines, I don't know. It's a work in progress like so many other things, but um, anyway, I'm so bummed out, which is kind of probably an understatement, but I am sad and I'm out of water.
I was about to make a vlog. Is that a sandwich? Yeah, thanks. Turkey or Actually, I, or ham? I already brushed my teeth and everything. You need to have one. You have to have no, one. I just brushed them. You have to have one. Can I have it tomorrow? Is this on video? Yeah. Hmm, how could you resist? You can't. Or you can, can't you? That was the Super Bowl. A little boring. Honestly, a little boring. But I had a great time at Happy Andy's. Who won? The Bengals? Bengals. No, Bengals lost. Oh. Went to Happy Andy's for the first half, Fred's for the second half. You Happy played, you played Fred Roulette. I mean, huh? You're playing Fred Roulette. I am. Fred, or Happy Andy's food was so good. It's amazing. He had the beginning the best pulled pork sandwich I've ever had. They had these cucumbers with ahi tuna, raw tuna, with like this eel sauce on it. Wow. So good. They had this. Did they have a lot of people there? Ten to twelve. That's they had this, strong. It sounds expensive for that. Movie. They had this spinning five different kinds of cheeses, marmalades, triscuits, like all this thing. So much stuff. How was work? It was good. Um, I dropped off my paperwork. Nice. Which is good. What's your blog about? Mm -hmm. I'm going Yeah. Is it really? Why are you shocked? I don't <laughs> want to hear this. I wasn't, I was going to end it when you... What are you going to say? Am I mentioning this? <laughs> I was just getting into it. We could do this another day. Right. Well, I'm not here. We'll do this another day. Okay. What about Euphoria? You didn't watch it? No, I will. Tonight? Sure. What time is it? It's only 11. You guys know about Revenge Bedtimes? It's when you don't have enough time during your day so that you stay up really late because you're like, Fuck yeah. yeah, you're like, who are you? T who are you taking it out on besides yourself? But uh, it's when you stay up late because so you. Legit. Dude, I fucking I'm making these sandwiches. So I put all the bread. I cut the rolls and put them in the fridge, and then I kept out like. The peppers, the onions, everything was covered, like the sauces, everything was covered, Not no bread, nothing that was out. And I fucking walk in there, and there's a mouse running right behind all the shit. Wow, on the table. No, on the On the counter. counter. Wow. And I just cleaned, and, it, and the mouse is up there. In the act, so what, what does it do? It went behind, like, the oven. They, all, they, they must be coming from behind the oven. That's terrible. I hate these mice. We have mouse papillomia. <laughs> Shoot more of them. Wish Anne was a fucking complete mice. Yeah. Um, maybe now's not the best time to talk about this. Basically, what I wanted to talk about is that I, I uh, ended up breaking things off with the person I was seeing, breaking things off today, and I'm very sad about it. Uh, I'm just such a, like, I really need to heal so many parts of myself, and... I felt like I was just being very selfish at what I was bringing to the relationship whereas he was always so giving and it was really difficult for me to do 
um, because, you know, I'm codependent. I'm, I'm so scared to be alone. Literally, as soon as I said the words, I wanted to take them back. Um, but I, I don't, that book I'm reading about stoicism says that, like, our only goal is to live virtuously. And while that wasn't the only thing that influenced my decision, I didn't feel like I was being, being, um, a virtuous person. I just felt like I was taking, taking, taking. Um, so. Um, respect for him. I'm not going to give you too much detail on it or anything. And I'll tell you a lot of later, I guess. Because I gotta get going. Alright. Good night. Talk to you later. <laughs> what?